Hello, my name is Terry. This video will cover part two of a four-part series recorded at Pythian Castle. This footage is from the second rotation. What was most interesting about the second rotation is one family in particular was trying to be contacted through these devices, through the Ovulus device, through the ghost boxes, and also there were several EVP voices that were also recorded that were all aimed specifically at one family. The activity would begin when one of their close friends' names was mentioned on the Ovulus device. After this, when we started the ghost box session, it was making comments referencing a phone call, and later on in the evening, indeed, their friend would be calling them. The history surrounding their friend is what was so interesting, is as it seems to be tied into the later footage. Apparently, the person who called his father had recently died in a suicide, and in the footage that follows, you'll see numerous references to this. Statement. Plans. Uh, that's really scary. What? Shh, you said Jane. Oh. Ooh, Let's see. What's that? This thing just said Jane. Her best friend's name is Jane. And her dad just shot himself. And then it says uh, and his name was Sean. So. Mark, get some. Do you know who's in here tonight? Who's in here tonight? You have something to tell us? Does the name J, is that significant to you? Do you have a message? Find the gun that's right for you. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's great. Great. Find the gun that's right for you. Yes. Didn't you say he shot himself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, our friend just called her while we were <laughs> Just who who just called? The friend that we said to Jade. Yeah. And her friend just happened to call her while we were standing in the chair. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Did she, did she call? Yeah. Did she call? <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. Really? I swear. And, uh, and like, it printed that on the screen? Yeah, when we were walking up the stairs, it said Jade earlier. Oh. And then she just called me about something. That's interesting. So it anticipated your phone call? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Um, oh, it's my hat. You need to call the person and ask them. If they had she intended did. to make the phone call, no, well, she did. She did. She did. Yeah. Okay. Actually, there was a recon on the But okay. it's just weird to here we are sitting there talking about it. The following three clips are only five seconds each in duration, and they're also from the third rotation, not this second rotation. But they all seem to be linked to what's going on now. I don't know if this is intended for the people in the third rotation at the time it had occurred or if it was actually meant to be heard by this group of people, so I included it in this video. Can you go ahead and touch the device? How about a struck with the shock with the heart? I think that it was the battery had. Mistress can be the lady of the house, right. breaker, could be divorce, or it could be a circuit breaker. Do you know what happened? ROTC. I thought it said ROTC. I did hear that, but any any military ties to your family? Can you say one of their names? He's holding the obulus. Can you say who you are? Or can you speak one of their names? I know you don't like to give out your name. Kind of a slow 
slow speaker anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, let's ask. That's, can you say one of their names through the ovulus? Can you say one of their names? Do you have a favorite sports team? No. 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 Me either. During this investigation, I conducted the box test. I had three small objects placed in a box that I was holding in my hand. I often use coins as trigger objects. In the box, I had one buffalo silver round. I had one copper one ounce silver round and I had a quarter ounce US Eagle coin. They replied to my question of what was inside the box. They said metal. All three objects are made of metal. The next one was that it said silver. It commented about the one ounce silver round that was inside the box. On the US Eagle coin on both sides on the Lady Liberty side she's holding an olive branch and on the reverse, where the U.S. Eagle is clutching also an olive branch. Do you see this little white box in my hand? Can you tell me the contents of this box? What's inside? What's inside this box? Silver? Okay. That's right, there's three objects in here, and one of them is silver. You know what the other two objects are? What are they made of? Just one more chance, can you tell me what the two objects are made out of that you haven't identified in this box? Can you tell me what is in the box that Terry is holding? The following footage is from one of the dressing rooms. In this next footage, what happens is extremely interesting. The ghost speaks directly the name of the person who's recently deceased. And when two women who were inside the room hear this name, they quickly skedaddle outside of the room. But as they're leaving the room, it's continuing to make comments. It said my name, inferring that it's providing his name. And then as they leave the room, it's saying and commenting that it's observed that they've left the room. This is showing that not only does it know the name of the deceased person, or it is the deceased person, but that it's also observing what's going on inside that room. A female ghost in a long black dress. All cool woman in a black dress. We don't know if it's the exact same woman, but Danny, who used to be on our team, heard this woman's voice. He said it was the most absolutely beautiful French voice he'd ever heard in his life. Comment vous appelez-vous, je m'appelle Roger. He's, I, uh, camera check. I just mentioned the one man who had heard her voice. His name is Danny. I thought that just said the name Danny. Did you talk to Danny? Something, my name. Yeah, my name. My name. Can you tell us your name? Is that your name? Were you a stage performer here? Is this, was this your dressing room? See, si, Spanish. Spanish. Saying yes. It's saying yes in multiple languages. Yeah. <laughs> How You're a very bilingual. Are you the one who said the name J on the ovulus? The shirt box in there just said J is with you. Really? Yeah. Okay. But sometimes they'll use the ghosts that are here 
and they'll piggyback through them to relay the messages. Mr. Boots downstairs in the tunnel, he's notorious for doing that. For military personnel, when people have lost relatives, he communicates. We often conduct tests where we hold up our hands and we ask them how many fingers are we holding up and they will comment on how many they see us holding up and sometimes they'll get it correct. What's odd is, is that often they'll get it wrong and sometimes they'll get it off by enormous numbers where they'll say like 12 or some ridiculous number. They're clearly hearing our question and they're replying but why they choose to give an incorrect answer I don't understand. It could be that they can't see us quite clearly enough to discern how many fingers we're holding up under all these different occasions. I don't know if this is something for their observational skills or if they're just playing with us. It could just be that they're having a little fun with us. Can you give me a number? Do you know Jenny? I thought I heard it said five. 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 Yeah. Play the same game again. How many fingers are holding up the back? Five? So I heard five, not this time. So I heard four. I thought he said four. Time, but but here's the thing. He gave you a... He said three. He gave a numerical answer. Yeah, okay, and then after you brought your hand, he said three. Down in the basement is the panic attack room. It triggers strong emotional responses in certain people. I've had people get very angry, I've had people get very sad, and I have people who are triggered panic attacks and they're forced to leave the room. This one woman who went down into that room said that she felt her eardrum burst. A pressure change of some kind must have taken place down in that room. And then she said she felt extremely agitated in the room. This is another common occurrence down in that room. Did you come from the base on the first rotation? Yeah. yeah. Did any, of you go in, did any of you go into the room where the giant gargoyle is? It's the room to the left. Yes. That's right. where I have my air drum first. Okay, that's the ghost that pours emotion through people? Okay, because I felt really, like, irritated down there. Uh, yeah, okay, see, that's, that's him. He pours emotion through people, and it's usually negative emotion. I've never had anyone say you made them feel happy. Yeah. Because like, that was bad. That was the one that you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Oh.